Um, well, I haven't worked in any other studios, but a friend of mine has a place up in Temple Bar. And I remember going in one day to see it with her and they had these tiny little um, like studio spaces in, in up about five flights of stairs and were paying huge money for it. And they were, you know, they were, they were, it was really hot and they had to step down into their studios and they only had like this amount of space for about, I think it was about 70 or 80 euro a week and they had to pay. Um, also, they had to submit a portfolio when they were um, um, applying to get in to that uh, uh, studio space. And I just thought, God, I'm so lucky to have my space in Strapoli, which was twice the size at the time. And just, you know, and I didn't have, like, everybody had just like a curtain between them. Mm. And there was no privacy. I saw this building and I just say that they might have some space left which might be good for the studio so I came I came here with Chris and I met Glenn and I just tell him what I want to do what I did before and he actually said that that's the artist place and he has the artist studio so it's, it was actually uh, exactly what you're looking for yeah, yeah. and it was a, such a big lot that we found it like it's it's amazing like I still can't believe that that happened on so what kind of things did you scope? I'm seeing a lot of um, busts around the uh, studio, is that what you are? Uh, yeah, about? yeah, it's quite figurative, the work that I do, mm. and tends to deal with um, kind of, say, complex human relationships. When mm. I do group um, pieces, it's generally kind of how one person is relating to another in a particular situation. Mm. So I like to try and create tension and stuff like that. Uh, the portraiture is kind of... Uh, something that I, I very much enjoy having the person there in front of me, you know, to um, to work from them, so that you have this interaction and build up sort of a, a kind of a relationship with somebody that you might not have really mm. even met before for very long, you know. Mm. So what I do is I kind of you know collect ideas and I would put symbolism into all my work at the moment. If you were to look at it, oh yeah, that's just kind of paint and you know, a few marks, but there's a whole process behind it. Yeah. You have to build it up and a lot of first reasons. of all, yeah, sometimes I start off with the paint and the texture of the paint and then I would come in with the um, with the drawing then into it over and over again and sometimes if I don't like the marks I rub them out and it doesn't always work out for me but what I do is I try to, you know, I, I work at it and, and sometimes it it doesn't work, so I just leave it aside and start on another piece. You know, there's no kind of, I have no idea of the finished work. It's a kind of natural poses as well, so it's not so much, um, not so much insp abstract inspiration on it, it's, I don't know, it's just our heads basically. The design of them is very, very elegant, very original. Yeah, it's lots of distinguish on the ladies and mm. lots of kind of style and, and well, that's just our way of doing them. Like they are all very unique, so mm. maybe the distinguish actually gives them a feeling of unique as well. The renovation uh, started around two thousand and one, um, and basically, like most developments, it had to start with the building application and. Mm. Um, that took a couple of months, maybe up to a year, I think, before we had everything fully ready to go. So, um, as you know, it's a, it's a complex of buildings. There's basically five different buildings on the site, and um, they were in extremely poor condition, even though they were structurally very good. Um, what is left here today is just basically the walls of the existing building even though that I think that um, it looks very much like the original buildings, but we had to remove the entire roofs and replace them. Mm. And um, the internal floors had to be replaced. So it's mainly the brickwork and the stonework is, is remaining from the existing buildings. Yeah, it was over a number of years. I suppose that the main bulk was then finished in two years, in around 2004. And, um, then we, um, I 
expanded some into some of the back buildings and created interesting exhibition spaces. And uh, um, again, we have plans for the future, but we have to wait and see how things go. You have a fairly eclectic amount of things around here. I do, yeah. yeah. Like from uh, I tend to collect quite a bit very gradually, you know. Very yes. random items. Yeah, but they all have a use, you know. Um, I may forget about them for a while, but you know they'll come back into my mind at some point. And should, uh, should Strably be flooded, you're, you're you're prepared anyway. Yeah, <laughs> that was a gift. That was a gift actually from Brother Morris, whose head oh. that I've done here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when he was in the Patrician College, he used to make uh, canoes for the students and uh, with the students, I should say, because they made their own. But he showed them what to do. So it sort of gets mingled in there, doesn't mm. it? So a lot of these things would be from people you'd have painted or sculpted, or maybe. Yeah, and sometimes you know, yeah, it's kind of strange to um, think of what it must be like from somebody's point of view that comes in here like yourself for the first time because it probably seems like uh, an array of things you know um, that's they're just gathered up over time yeah still lives I do a lot of still life mm. painting so I'd always have you know certain objects that I like to hold on to and uh, have them on hand for when I'm going to you know make up a composition to paint well for me I'm always looking for new ways to to express the work through the medium of drawing and painting as well but also the mark making is very important to me so I'm always looking for new ways to to experiment with with the drawing process and to push it that little bit further you go through stages where it's like a flat line you know there's nothing happening and then and you're really frustrated with your work and then you come to a phase where ah oh, yeah yeah, now I know why I yeah, had to struggle. So I came to Ireland for three months. Well, that was the first uh, that was the first idea that it would be three months. It was six actually, but I was working uh, and completely different things just to get some money and come back to Poland and keep the studio in Poland. So when I went back to Poland, my studio was actually sold. Well, the premises was sold, so I had to take everything out. Mm. Um, so I was planning to go to Australia and open the studio there because I have a family there that invited me at that time and I came to Ireland second time just to say goodbye to my friends here. I booked the tickets for three days only and I stayed. Like <laughs> the buildings themselves have been built in different periods. Um, I believe the building on the back um, was a coaching inn and was built in the 1700s and then it was converted to a normal grain mill and then there was kilns built and um, storage uh, buildings so it's again it's something like the art center has kind of has grown over the years as well but um, everything that's on the on the ground except for where here at the moment is very old it's nothing less than 150 years old uh, it's necessary to be in your own little world for a certain length of time once you're doing what, what I do, but uh, you also need to kind of uh, have that interaction. So it's a nice kind of experience to be able to have the two walking together. I'm just happy enough here, you know, there's good atmosphere here and everybody's helpful and will I say nice things now? <laughs> the spaces right like and we can work here full time as well mm. even in the evenings time and that's what we want like just to work here and don't be disturbing. <laughs> Artists tend to draw inspiration from, both from themselves and from the environment that they live in so of course for definite um, more people more ideas more life more energies. <laughs>